All right, so this is going to be an update on the strawberries that I bought, the 10 roots, for $2.50 at Walmart. And I'm going to just show you what's going on with these right now. And we'll see what's, you know, what's going on. I don't know what to say about them, but unfortunately, they are not doing good. All right, and I do not recommend you go there and buy them, or you can, but maybe check out your return policy before you do. So if you get them and you have results like I'm having, you're going to want to make sure you bring them back. For me, unfortunately, I don't have the receipt for this anymore, so I don't have any way to return them. What I can do is buy them again, go back in a couple of days, and then return it with the old roots, and I can do that. But I don't have the receipt for these roots for me to return. So, let's go over the results and see where we stand. So, when I first bought these, I was short one right out the gate, okay, and I only got nine. So, we started off with nine, and then I planted them, and most of them were coming up, except for about, I believe, three of them. I think it was three or four, it was three of them. So, three didn't come up right out the gate, so I had nine minus the three, so I had six I was working with. So out of that six, it looked like another two more died, which I pulled the roots up here. Now, if you look at it, you can't really look here, but the, there's a ball in here, and that ball is still hard, so I'm not sure what's going on with this thing. If that was completely rotted from, like, overwatering or something, that would be mushy. But it's not. It's kind of hard. So I might end up dissecting one of these and opening it up and seeing if it's completely rotting inside. I can't really do it right now. Plus, I'm going to try to do the thing, like I said, I'm going to go buy another set of strawberries, uh, buy those, bring them back, replant those, and then bring, give them back these dead ones and get my money back that way or whatever. I'm basically just exchanging them. No, that's not unscrupulous if what you've bought the first time is like this and you don't have a receipt. you got to do something. I wouldn't recommend you just go and do that to take advantage of them, like bring your dead root from your garden or something. But in this case, this is the results of what's happening. So I had nine, three out, right out of the gate, never sprouted. I believe it was like this one, that one, and that one. They never came up. And then I had six, and then three died. They came up, they had leaves on them, and then they just started doing this. They just wilted back and died. Now, I'm not 100% sure. Now, I took this one out, even though it's still alive. I pulled it out to see what's going on with it. It could be a disease in the soil that's killing these right out the gate. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to do a couple of experiments with this. I'm going to wash these roots off, which is one of the things I'm going to do. I'm gonna wa it's still alive. It's not dead. The leaf is just wilting badly. Because it's not obviously not absorbing water anymore. So I'm going to wash these off really good. And then I'm going to try to get them to root in like a rooting hormone. I'm going to trim off all the dead roots. And we're going to see if it's diseased or not. Because I'm not sure why these are dying like this. You shouldn't, even if you did, somebody might be saying like, oh, well, you buried the crowns below the soil. That's why they're dying. So you see those, <laughs> you see these strawberries I'm growing out here? Those are all, you could, I'll take those out if you want, and I'll bury them below the crown, and you'll see that they will still grow. Okay, so in general, you shouldn't have that much of a problem. Yeah, this one's probably a little low in the soil. This one's not as low with the crown. I don't believe I buried those crowns too deeply. I should have at least seen better results than what I had. Not all of these were buried deeply. Like this one, the crown's above the soil. But it never came up. It was just dead right out the gate. Yeah, you're supposed to spread the roots out on the bottom and make a hell. You shouldn't have to really go through it. These roots, I should be able to cut these roots off almost completely and just stick that the heart part in the ground and it should still root and grow. You don't even need those dead roots. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on. It's very possible that this is older potting mix mixed with newer peat moss. So maybe the pH was out on it and that caused it to just go into a pH shock. 
of some kind. It's very possible it could have been that. It could also be that I was watering these an awful lot in the beginning. I make these soils for my wicking bed, so this soil tends to be a little bit more moisture retentive. It'll retain the moisture extra more than normal soil because I add cocoa choir and peat moss. Peat moss also retains moisture. And because of this reason, it, these plants, because, because they were coming out of the, um, the package, could have been susceptible to just moisture being the issue. Now, I'm not 100% sure. I did not read the instructions, but I didn't think you'd have to read instructions to plant strawberry roots. So the the bottom line is is that I think there's something more going on to the roots than just me making a bunch of mistakes, which I'll take some of the blame for that, but I don't think that I'm completely at fault for this situation. I don't even see fresh roots coming out of these. They just look like they were they sprouted and then they just died. So I think some of the some of it had something to do with me with my soil because I'm using soil that is holding the moisture and it just shocked these plants. There's got to be a way to break them out of hibernation when they're in a state effectively. And I don't know if they say it on there or not, but it could be that I put them right into here, got them going, and and it just shocked them. It could be that the temperatures here are just one day it's it's a it's 90, 110 degrees in the greenhouse, and then at nights they're going down. You know, the nights here, uh, last couple of days have been going down all the way in mid to low 30s, just above freezing. So, yeah, even in the greenhouse, these temperatures are causing a lot of my other sprouts and everything to just start wilting out at night. Even some of my sprouts even died. They just damped off, it looked like, but it's not damping off. It's the cold temperature that's killing them because they're still too young for that, you know, 30 degree weather. So that may have something to do with it. But all in all, so far, out of the nine that I got, it looks like I got one good one that might actually live. This one's... This crown looks pretty good. I think it's going to continue. Hopefully, I stop watering it. This one might make it. And this one looks like it's on its way out the door. That's what they all started doing. They all started getting shriveled up. The leaves would come out and they'd start to dry up and shrivel. And then just die off. That's what that, the others did. So, out of nine of them, it looks like that I might only have two that'll make it. That is really poor results. And like I say, I'll take some of the blame for that. But... I can't take all the blame if it does have something to do with the product that I that I received. What and it's not that the manufacturers could necessarily be the one at fault. It could just could be that these this is old rootstock. This could be two years old. It could be something like that, or it could be just mishandled when it was in storage. In other words, it could have just been sitting in the sun, baking in the sun for couple hours during shipment and just cook them that way. You know the roots and you can replant that doesn't mean that they can go through massive temperature differentials either. You, you can't have that either. Even even the, these companies can suffer from the results of that. So we don't know what was going on between the manufacturer's packaging and by the time it got on the shelf on Walmart. There's something affected these plants a little bit more than probably they should have. I think I have something to do with it as well. In the end, I ended up with this. What I'm going to end up doing now is I'm going to end up going to Lowe's sometime this week. And I'm going to pick up some that are already sprouted and growing in pots already. Just I'm going to plant those out. I don't really want to waste time with, with fooling around with this. I want to see strawberries by, you know, June, July, something like that. I don't want to play games with this. I thought this, I wouldn't have a problem with it, but obviously I am. I'm probably not that good of a gardener for me to just start winging around these kind of roots. But I don't know. I can't take all the blame for this. I don't feel that it's all my fault. So plus I, there was another one of my uh, subscribers. They bought, I, I forgot her channel name offhand, but she had bought these. She's seen my video and she had bought them and she put them in there and she, from what I understand, she's not, they're not sprouting for her either. So it's not just me. I know some of it is me, but it's not just me. So she's having a problem with those as well. So my recommendation is do not buy these from Walmart. Stay away from it. There's a reason why it's two fifty. dollars Just go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy the strawberries that are already growing in the pots. You pay, what, 2 or $3 a pot? 
You buy two or three pots, you're good. Believe me, they'll spread out and you'll get more of them. When you're going from these dry roots like that, sometimes they really go through a lot of just damage getting shipped to you. And by the time you got them, and they're, they're just not going to be good. So you're going to have problems with them. Like this one, I can already see that this leaf is kind of dying off. And I'm going to end up digging that one up before it completely dies. And see if I could revive it somehow. But yeah, as of right now, don't buy them. All right, so yeah, that's just a little update on the strawberries. I could do an update on the uh, the rhubarb I got. They did fine. The rhubarbs did good. They're, they're coming up. They're going. The potatoes I bought, they're coming up beautifully. I'm not having problems with the other ones. These strawberries are giving me a problem. So I don't know what to say. I guess uh, if you want to do it, take your chances. Keep your receipt. Grow them out. If they look like you're going to get more than 50% of them, don't bring them back. But if any less than 50% come up and die like that, just go get your money back. But I, I don't recommend wasting your time with that. Just get, get live plants from Lowe's or Home Depot and you're good. You, know, you should be fine with that. All right, so that was just a little update. Take care.